Okay, guys. Hi. Uh, this is the recipe for fusilli with cherry tomatoes. Uh, very simple recipe, very quick recipe. Uh, basically, it's going to take uh, 10 minutes to boil the water and 7 minutes to cook the pasta. During the 10 minutes, while the water boils, you're going to prepare, uh, prepare all the ingredients. And that's why the water is the first thing that you want to do before you start cutting things. And water is the first thing that you're going to do, okay? All right, enjoy. If you have any questions, you know how to get in touch with me. Ciao. Okay, this will be the pasta chosen for today. I'm going to get some nice little cherry tomatoes. Actually, these are not cherry tomatoes. So there are a couple of types of it, but we're going to go with these because they've been around longer. Okay, let's go downstairs and go and get some herbs. Yay! Let's get some oregano, a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of sage, a little bit of basil. That is the wine. Um, so I'll have to open it up right now. I bought this one at uh, in Tallahassee Trader Joe. Uh, four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Yay. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this wine is. Wow. Oh, Sangiovese di Toscana. Yep, highly recommended. Two thousand eighteen. Four ninety nine. Yay. Okay, get some water. Okay, now we're going to chop our herbs. Okay, so we got to start with the water. Actually, that's the first thing that we need to do. A couple of cloves of uh, garlic. Yeah, that's nicely chopped, all right. So these ones here, I chop them in halves or third, depending on the size. Okay, the oil is uh, heating up, so we're going to grab uh, the garlic. Put some of the herbs. It smells, it's going to smell so good there. And we're going to wait for the garlic to uh, change color. Oh, here we go. Something is happening. Okay, the garlic now is changing color. So it's time to put the tomatoes in there. All right, take it a little bit. Okay. Add a little more herbs. Yeah, let's put a little more. What the heck? Whack them a little bit. Okay, now lower the heat on the tomatoes and let them sit there a little bit until we wait for. Uh, the water to boil, here we go, she's moving, yeah, start to boil, it's almost pasta time. Okay, we're going to have this much pasta for Emily. And this much for, Fra for Franco. Okay, I, for I forgot to put the salt. So I'm going to put the salt now. Okay, got some salt. Yep. Uh, stir the whole thing. And, oh, I have to start my watch.
Okay, I forgot to put salt and pepper on the tomatoes. Salt and pepper. And, and some dry jalapeno peppers. Alright. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water there because it looks like it's to dry. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat back on just to so that the salt and the pepper mix with the tomatoes. I made a mistake. I should have done that uh, when I poured the tomatoes right away. Okay, so at this point I forgot to show you the part where I drained the pasta and I placed it in the pan with all the tomatoes. Uh, the instructions in the pasta box say uh, cook from seven to nine minutes in this case okay you have to read uh, the instructions in your own box and uh, so what I do I grab the smaller number okay divided by two three and a half four let's make it four so four minutes after I pour the pasta uh, I put the pasta in the uh, uh, in the hot water four minutes after I drain it okay and I put it in the pan okay I'm gonna add three levels of water and keep of cooking for the remaining three or so minutes okay when the three or so minutes pass okay let's say seven minutes then I taste one and see if I like it okay I like it a little bit al dente but you may like it differently maybe less al dente okay so you do whatever you want and then but the point is that you pour the three levels of water in the pan and you steer 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 which is what I show you in the next um, video uh, steer 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 why because you want all the pasta to cook for another three minutes okay and also you want the pasta to release the starch that is going to create the um, the little cream okay to make it makes it creamy okay make sure the pasta is not dry I made many mis many times this mistake so if you see that the pasta is a little dry and you don't see the um, the cream add, add a little more water okay and um, then when you reach the seven minutes or eight minutes or whenever you like the consistency of the pasta then you remove it from the flame okay which is what I did and then you add a little cheese mix a little longer and uh, and everybody's going to be happy okay ding ding okay. I have to put a more basil I lift it up with my hands instead of cutting it with the uh, with the knife because it becomes dark right it turns dark right away okay, put a little more we have six minutes so far. The bogey is about seven. So I keep on cooking. Keep on. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at that cream coming up. See the cream coming up? <laughs> cream is coming up. Make it creamy. Okay, it's, it's now eight minutes. But um, I give it a little bit longer because I forgot to, I turned the heat off by mistake. So I give him a little extra. But look at that cream, nice. You know what? Yeah, there we go. Make sure that the cream is good. And um, since Emily doesn't like it too, too much al dente, so I just cook it a little more. So basically, soon. for one reason or another, I got to the nine minutes that the box says. Oh, yeah, I know what's happening. Yeah, make some noise. What the heck? By the way, the jalapeno peppers, the jalapeno peppers, I can, I can feel it. I can taste it. Okay. Can we put the, the remaining... Sorry. Alright. And that's it. Oh, you know what? 
I'm gonna get the cheese now, wait. Okay, today I'm gonna put some, some pecorino. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm going to mix it right here in the, in the pan so that the whole thing is going to get together real good. Okay. Okay, a little, another taste of wine before. Wow. This is worth about three times uh, $4.99. Let me see how it tastes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 